Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with Morning Market Stir for Tuesday, March the 15th. Mixed market action. Markets did come back and close near their highs once again. Emini S&P down one point at 2019. High of the session, 2024 and one half. Dow futures on the positive, up 38, 17,222. And the Nasdaq up 13 at 4366. The dollar is getting some strength as well, up 43 at 9667. The euro currency down 64 at 11124 in the June contract they were trading. Treasuries did move lower, but bounced back, being up eight points at 161.15. 162 is the old support, so we'll see how it reacts as that is now resistance. Crude oil backed off $1.30 at 37.70. The high of the session was 38.75 with $39 printing last week. And gold backed off $14 at 12.45. So after this action yesterday, which was mixed ahead of this FOMC uh, interest rate non-announcement, where do the markets stand here on this Tuesday morning? We're down some, we're down 10 in the e and s and 1999. Dow futures are down 75, 17,148, still staying above 17,000. And the NASDAQ right now is at 43.40, down 17, with 4,400 right above, which is a very important technical pivot to keep an eye on the NASDAQ. The dollar index up 10 at 96.76. Euro currency going nowhere right now at 111.23. Treasuries are seeing some firmness with the stock market sell-off, 162.08, up 25. So we've seen a comeback in yields where we'd almost pushed 2% in the 10-year note right uh, yesterday. And then today we're seeing as price moves up, yield moves a little bit lower. The crude oil market down $1 at 36.70 after this extended run, and gold down $10 at 12.35 with this firm dollar once again. So to wrap up this current action, two hours ago before the cash stock market opened, some stock index weakness, down 10 in the S&P, down 75 in the Dow, and down 17 in the NASDAQ 100. I will see you early Wednesday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.